Okay, hello. Uh, today we're going to look at sharpening, and I'm going to show you a sharpening routine that will solve about 90% of all your sharpening needs. So let's get started here. First thing is uh, we want to arrange to have the image at 50% magnification. So in this case I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And you can tell what magnification you're at by looking in the lower left corner. You'll see here it says 50%. Uh, so that's what we're looking at. We don't want to be zoomed in to 100%, which is the conventional wisdom here. But um, we want to look at it at 50% to get a better judge of how much to sharpen. I'm going to duplicate the background layer. And then I'm going to use the unsharp mask filter. So in filter sharpen unsharp mask. We're not going to use sharp smart sharpen. Uh, instead we'll use unsharp mask and this actually is going to give us more control uh, over the sharpening effect. The uh, first step here with the unsharp mask dialog is to get the amount up to 500 percent. And then you can play around with the radius until you get enough sharpening that it looks just slightly over sharpened. Okay, so if we have a, a very low radius, we can get a subtle sharpening effect, but as you get too low, the sharpening halos aren't enough. They may look fine in the 100% preview, but when we're zoomed out to 50%, you can see that it's it's not quite enough sharpening. So we're going to add just enough now to, so that it looks just slightly over sharpened. And, and for the purposes of this, this video, I'm going to put it at very clearly a little over sharpened here. Leave the amount at 500%. Because we have, we're sharpening in a layer, we can always control how strong the effect is after we've applied the filter. Okay, so now we apply the filter. And the very next step that you need to do is go over to the Edit menu and select Fade Unsharp Mask. Now the reason we do that is that we're going to change the mode, the Apply mode for this filter from Normal to Luminosity. And this is a very important step that prevents the sharpening halos at the edges from getting too saturated and it makes the uh, makes the sharpening look a little more natural so we'll leave it on luminosity say OK now I'm gonna duplicate this layer okay one of the duplicates I'm gonna call lighten and the other I'm gonna rename to darken Okay, so right now let's turn off the lighten sharpen layer, and now we're going to look at the darken sharpen layer. And now for this, let's zoom in to 100% because we want to see the effect that the next move is going to have on this image. So right now, one of the problems with sort of a global sharpening effect is that the, the darken and the lighten halos of the sharpening are applied equally. And we need to control them so that we can uh, manipulate them separately. So one way to do that is to have two sharpened layers and change the apply mode for each. So in, in this darken layer, I'm going to ch change the apply the uh, blending mode here, layer blending options to uh, darken. Okay. And now you can see what what happens is it's only applying the darkening uh, sharpen part of the sh overall sharpen. So it's darkening the edges and uh, you get a kind of a almost an illustrated look here. But we're not done. Uh, now we're going to go back to the turn on the other layer, the lighten layer, and we'll change the mode from normal to, you guessed it, lighten. Okay, now, 
So now with the two of them together we have exactly the same effect. But now with the lighten, I can actually reduce the opacity and about 80% of the time you want to reduce the opacity of the light and halos and in most cases you're going to get down around half the intensity to get the look that you want. Let's zoom back out to 50% here and I've reduced the opacity here to uh, just about I think 60% looks good. Turn the light on and off. You can see it makes the image look more natural. The darkened one is too dark, but it is sharpening. So we had just enough lightening to make it look more natural. Now we can combine these two layers into a, a group, a layer group. So let's shift click to select the underlying layer here. So now I have both the lighten and the darken layer selected. And now I'm going to make a new group from layers. So I get the layer options flyaway here and select new group from layers. And we'll call this sharpen. Leave everything at pass through uh, and uh, say OK. Okay, so now I can kind of control that whole sharpening effect all at once. And now I can change the opacity, the overall sharpening, and maybe drop it down just a little bit. So I don't want to overdo it. Okay, so that's the, the strategy. The, the benefits of this are we can control the sharpening in a layer. We don't apply it directly to the image. We can control the lighten and darken parts of the sharpen separately. And we can get a much more natural effect and limit the kind of white sparklies, which would uh, render this, this particular image uh, kind of unnatural looking. Also, another thing to remember, view your sharpening at 50%. Don't view it at 100% because this gives you a, a better idea of how much sharpening you really need to apply. Okay, I think uh, that's all for today. Um, please visit my blog and my website, www.veras.com, or the blog, blog.veras.com. I have lots of tutorials and tips up there, and uh, I hope to see you next time on our podcast. Bye-bye.